Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle News update. The Texas Pro prejudging is let out in the men's open division. Three-man race, as we predicted. Ian Valier coming off that big win in Chicago, coming into Steve Kuklo's home state there, where Steve was trying to qualify for the Mr. Olympia competition. This was his show he picked. This is his show that he usually owns. And Phil Klahar coming off that close second place behind Valieri in Chicago. So we knew this was going to be a big battle. And Steve Kuklo obviously was ready, well-rested. And you know what? It, it showed here. You can see Kuklo looks real good. Obviously, he's got the big structure, just like Ian Valier, maybe bigger. Um, he's wider. Uh, he's got a, you know, a really dramatic uh, shape on stage, and he takes up a lot of space. When you occupy a lot of space on stage, that looks very impressive. And that's why Valieri and, uh, and Kuklo are both really impressive bodybuilders, kind of like if you think of Jay Cutler, you think of Dennis Wolf. Big structures in the lineup. They stick out. Klahar. Um, smaller structured, good shape, small waist, good taper, great from behind, but, you know, doesn't look, you know, as much in terms of wow when you see him standing in the lineup. You have to kind of see him a as he goes through his poses, and that's when he starts getting super impressive. And so, you know, when I see, you know, a lineup like this, I say to myself, man, these judges have got their work cut out for them. And you know what? It, you know, I wouldn't want to be up there judging him because – you're, you're, you're nitpicking at this point because they're so close, these guys up there. And if you look in the lineup here, you can see it. Uh, you know, Kuklo on, on the, the ab thigh shot, very, very dominant. He could stand – he hits this shot straight on. Very few people can hit that shot, shot straight on and look that good because he's got a really good V taper. He's got the good legs. You know, Ian Valieri, obviously with the great abs, you know, I, I think it's a mistake that he doesn't hit this shot straight on because because Ian has a very you know small waist and and really good structure too. So I don't know why he, he hits it in the, in this side position. It could have just been a intermediate shot he was hitting. Klahar also good, but once again not as big structured. When you start to see uh, from behind, when we start to look at the, at the the breakdown from behind, that's when we start to see Phil Klahar shine. And it, the reason is because he has got a lot of wow from behind. He is the second guy from the left there in the green trunks, and you can see that he has got uh, a great V taper from behind his back. He's probably got the best back in, in the lineup, I would say. His glutes and hams are shredded, even, probably the most shredded in the lineup. Even Kuklo's shredded, but I think Klahar's got nicer glute hamstring tie-ins than uh, Kuklo does, but Kuklo's just so big from behind. I think, you know, if you're asking me, and, and you know, once again, this show is – not been decided yet. To me, when I look at this this lineup, I see Kuklo all day long because I see a big structure. I see tremendous conditioning. He beats Ian on the back double bicep shot because Ian is is a little his back is development is not quite as good as Kuklo's. He's not opening up on that shot as well either. Kuklo's smiling. He's confident. I don't know why Ian doesn't smile on stage, but he's got to learn to really project more. I mean, Kuklo looks like he's you know the the million dollar man up there. And Klahar, unfortunately, gets caught up in, 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 a, in a situation where he's really good, probably his absolute best, but from the front and the sides, he doesn't have as much width as these other guys. And I think that's going to relegate him probably to second or third. I, I think that Ian's going to be a solid second. I think Kuklo's going to win this show and qualify for the Olympia. I think also he's got to be, once again, a favorite just because he's in his home state. Ian's already qualified. Not that the judges are going to pick someone just for a qualification spot, but I think Kuklo did enough here to win this. W will he win the event? We don't know until later today. This, sh this show is hardly over, and that's what makes you know it exciting because tonight they can come back, and I'm sure they're going to rejudge this thing, and we're, we could see a completely different you know outcome. But my money is going with Steve Kuklo for the win, Valieri in second, and Phil Klahar in third. We'll find out later, and I'll do a full wrap-up of the entire top six. For now, I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Update.